This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Comet Ison traveled through the asteroid belt in our solar system. When it did, it picked up a large amount of dust and debris, meteors, meteorites, and so forth in its tail, in its debris field, as it began to stream through our solar system. Very soon it will pass by Mars. It will come to our Sun, ricochet around the Sun, and come toward the Earth. All along its path it will be leaving debris. We don't know exactly where Ison will come out ricocheting away from the Sun. This is a supposed trajectory. So we don't know if Ison is going to take a track that northerly. We don't know that. And I, I think it's possible that this model may be showing a more northerly orbit because they do not want panic to ensue on the Earth. Because with a more southerly orbit, this is what it looks like. This is Earth. This is December 17th. If it's more southerly, this is what's going to be happening. December 6th or 7th we will enter into Ison's debris field if this takes a more southerly orbit track and we will not escape the debris field until the 9th of January. So I really truly believe that is why scientists are giving it a more northerly track. We don't honestly know. The truth is no one knows where that track is going to be taken. We don't even know for sure if Ison is going to escape the Sun's gravitational pull. We don't know for sure whether it's just going to careen right into the Sun. We don't know. But for now this is the model that we're going by. Is Ison the first trumpet? Let's look at that. Just before the first trumpet takes place, Revelation 8 5, it says, Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it on the earth. And there came peals of thunder, rumblings, and flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. So what we can expect, along with all of these fireballs coming at Earth, prior to, just prior to the first trumpet, are peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. Society has been telling us that there has been a stark increase this year of fireball events and meteors passing through our atmosphere. From September 9th to September 12th alone, we had over 300 reports of major fireball events. Reports from California, Kansas, Missouri, Ohio, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, 
West Virginia, Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, among others. Those are just in America. Those are just that three-day period, over 300. And do you remember the fireball exploding over Alabama? And for states around Alabama, people could see this fireball. NASA's All Sky Fireball Network detected nearly two dozen other meteors on that same night, Monday night, September 9th, the night of Alabama's exploding fireball. We're told last year's high season for meteors, which is this month, was twice as high as normal. And this year's high season, this month, for meteors has exceeded last year's by three times that amount, making it six times the normal high season for meteors around the world this month. The latest worldwide meteor meteorite news tells us that there are 33 close flyby asteroids that we know of for this month of September alone. Now these are just the big ones that we know about. The ones that are big enough for us to see coming at us. 33 close flybys just this month alone that we now know of. Does that sound like a lot of fireballs coming out of a sensor toward the earth? It sounds like it to me. So what do we look for then? What comes next with these fireballs? Peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. And remember the most notable earthquake that we had was in Japan. To remember what kind of devastation that earthquake caused in an earthquake-prone zone, in a place where they were ready for earthquakes. Is it possible that Isen is not only the first trumpet fulfillment, but perhaps even the second and the third trumpet fulfillment? Let's look at that for a moment. The first angel sounded his trumpet, and there came hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was hurled down on the earth. A third of the earth was burned up, a third of the trees were burned up, and all of the green grass was burned up. Now, if someone tells you the first trumpet has been blown, they are incorrect. That trumpet has not been blown. And the way we know that is that a third of the earth has never been burned up. A third of all the trees on the earth have never been burned up at one time. And all of the green grass on the earth has never been burned up ever in the history of man. So to say that this trumpet has been fulfilled is not true. The second trumpet, the angel sounded his trumpet. and something like a huge mountain, all ablaze, was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea turned into blood, a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. If anyone tells you that this was Fukushima, they are wrong. If anyone tells you that this was the platform, the oil platform, that blew up and burned and caused this terrible issue of oil, in the Gulf of Mexico, this terrible catastrophe. No, they're wrong. Neither one of those incidents was the second trumpet. And the way we know that is that, number one, the sea, a third of the entire sea, was never turned into blood. We do not know if a third of the sea creatures in, in the sea have died, because a lot of creatures are, but a lot of that has to do with sonar issues and hydroacoustic frequency blasts by the Navy, there has never been a time in history that a third of all the ships that exist on the earth today have been destroyed. That's the key. 
When there comes a time when hail and fire mixed with blood is hurled down on the earth and all this is burned up, that's going to be burned up in the first trumpet, if after that something like a huge mountain all ablaze is thrown into the sea and all of this happens and a third of the ships are also destroyed in the sea, then we know that was the second trumpet. The third angel sounds his trumpet and a great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky on a third of the rivers on a third of the springs of water and the name of the star is wormwood a third of the waters turned bitter and many people died from the waters that turned bitter now I did a word study on that verse let me share that with you Revelation 8:10. The third angel sounded his trumpet and a great star. In the Greek, the word is aster. Aster, from which we get the, the term asteroid. Just so that you know, we have a satellite that is an international program satellite named aster. The satellite aster stands for Advanced Spaceborne Thermal Emission and Reflection Radiometer. We have this satellite named Aster. It says whatever it is is blazing like a torch and it fell. Now the word fell also means failed. As in failing it fell from the sky on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. That word third also means or for a third time. Now remember this is the third trumpet. These things have been happening. The first one a bunch of them come down. The second one a, uh, a big mountain all ablaze could be another one of these asters. This says it's the third time. So they could all be from the sky. They could all be asteroidal. And the name of the star is called, and that word called means it's figuratively spoken of as wormwood. So it doesn't mean that the star or this, this thing that is falling from the sky all ablaze is actually named wormwood. It means that people figuratively speak of it as though it were bitterness and calamity or wormwood. And a third of the waters turn bitter, that is the fresh waters, the rivers and the springs of water, the fresh water. And many people died from the waters that had become bitter. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.